Okay, Stereotype here with VitaNation.us. We're coming at you with another review. This time we're doing Dynasty Warriors Next. Uh, online Vita exclusive. So what we're going to do is uh, end the game. You know, before I enter the game, I just want to let you know uh, Dynasty Warriors has never been a favorite of mine. Um, it's kind of like 99 Nights, only there's no point to it. Uh, at least in my book. But you know what? The game is kind of fun. And for those of you that are fans, I think you'll be royally impressed. So let's get this review going. Uh, let's see, focus. There we go. <clears throat> As you can tell, you always want to check for updates before you start playing. Just by clicking that little refresh icon there, that'll check for any updates that may be coming. And then you want to go ahead and enter the game if there aren't any. Make sure the volume's up here. And uh, I hope my video quality is getting better for you guys. Um, it's taken a while to to um, get this figured out, but I think I've got the quality a lot better than it was before, and hopefully, hopefully you'll be able to agree with me. So if you ever played Dynasty Warriors before, it's going to be the exact same kind of game. The difference is they have some touch screen controls to make the, uh, to make the superpowers easier. Uh, for instance, you'll tap the screen when you're being rushed, or you'll swipe the screen to do your special moves. Uh, just simplistic stuff like that. And I'll go ahead and show you a few of those. Story-wise, there's really not a heck of a story here. Um, they try to make a story. They try to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They, they try to make it seem like there's a point to what you're doing, but in reality, there's really not that big of a point. Uh, it's, it's just run to the next place, beat up two, three hundred guys, run to the next place, beat up another couple hundred guys, and then get victory. That's how it goes. So, let's, um, let's just watch the intro video and then we'll get to some gameplay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so as you can tell, I've already played through a little bit of this here, so we'll go to campaign mode. And continue. The purple is the areas that I believe I've uncovered already, and the blue is the one that I'm after. Or it could be backwards. Like I said, not a big fan, so I'm not entirely sure. Let's see here. It says, when fighting up close, it is hard to recover health. Sometimes it is better to retreat from danger. Well, that's pretty freaking obvious. So, yeah, it looks like we're going to go ahead and attack the purple. So we're the blue. We're going to go ahead and attack Pu Yang. Because, uh... Pu Yang sounds like Pu Tang, and we're gonna go ahead and get some of that. Battle of Sushi. Su Jin has set up camp near Sushui Gate. However, morale is low amongst his troops in the front lines. It is probably because they have not received regular supplies. Clearly, someone is jealous of his position in the vanguard. However, he isn't known as the Tiger of Jiangdong for nothing. I'm sure he has something up his sleeve. Alright, so we're going to control Chow Chow in this one. So we can go through and make battle preparations if we'd like. Uh, there's weapons, you can equip new weapons. Um, in this case, this gentleman doesn't have any. I've got a couple of them that I've got new swords and stuff for. But I will show you your move list so you can uh, you can know exactly what it is that you're doing. Um, and then you can go up the weapons and see what he's currently got equipped. Right now we got a broadsword. 
So what we'll do is just press X to confirm everything and go back here. Conditions. Victory conditions. You have to capture the enemy's main camp. Uh, you get defeated if the allied main camp falls. Simple enough. Unit info. There's uh, everything about me and the bad guys. Kind of tells you what they got going for them or what you got going for you. The base info. This is going to tell you about your base um, and its constructs. It's also going to tell you uh, the enemy's bases and what what it is that you'll be taking down. So you got armories and depots, some uh, dispatch areas, some outposts. And these are what you're going to be attacking in order to take over the main village, which is right there. In case you can't see, it's the one under my thumb. Okay. And of course, options, you can adjust uh, if subtitles are on. You can change the controller out, uh, outlook if you'd like. Then you can see the touch controls there. If you want to do your, um, your special attack, you touch both sides of the screen at the same time, he'll do that. Uh, direct to break will be just tapping it somewhere on the screen. And then the rest is pretty simple. You got your jump, your tag attack. And, oh, and you can call in the horse. That's a, kind of fun. It's hard to get on the horse for some reason, but you can call him in. Um, in some cases, you'll have to shake the PlayStation Vita, so if that happens, you won't be able to see what's going on, but that's what I'm doing, is shaking the Vita in order to um, to replicate what I need, need to do for the special move that's going on. Let's see, we can adjust the camera angles if we want to. Adjust the audio levels if we want to. We can even change the, uh, the song. They all suck. <laughs> Well, they're all Japanese anyway, so they don't suck, they're just not my style. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go ahead and begin a battle. All units, set out to destroy the rebel forces. We'll take out Sushui Gate and open a passage to Loy Yang. I'll show them what this old tiger from Jiang Dong can do. I've already killed a hundred enemies. This is very much a hack and slash. There's not a whole lot of uh, skill needed to play this game. So it is great for people that just want to pick up and slap some guys around and then move on. Uh, but unfortunately, there's not a lot of depth to the game, which makes it kind of kind of rough. And we captured that base. Calling the horse. I hereby claim this area as my own. Okay, I went right this way. Alright, we can't go that way. Let's see if we can go through camp. kind of get the idea of what's going on. Yeah, I might have to go back through and redo my old videos with this uh, new camera and see if I can't get some better quality out of it. Uh, let's see, we've almost got this space captured. 20 more guys. 3 more guys. Let's go! The enemy does not stand a chance against 
in an ambush, you want to go ahead and touch the screen. Get a big host of guys here and we'll do a special power. Alright, so it wants me to touch the rear touch pad on this one to attack. Capture that one too. So I think you've seen enough of what the game actually is. Let's talk about mechanics a little bit. Um, it gets very repetitive very quickly. There's not a whole lot of extra stuff to do. There's a few things where you can pick up some power ups. Um, some new armor, perhaps a, a a temporary increase in strength, uh, temporary invulnerability, that sort of thing. We'll let him go and just get these guys. There you go. Not quite. There's some more. Well, we might as well go into their encampment here if we can find a door. There we go. Armory benefits. Armories enable the attack of your troops and officers to increase for a set period of time. You do not want these under control of the enemy. Capture as quickly as possible. Okay. As you can tell, they barely swing back. I mean, I think I've been hit maybe once in this whole fight. And this is on normal difficulty here. for the blurs. And we captured that one too. So, that should give you an idea of what Dynasty Warriors is. Uh, for the simplicity of it, it makes it easy for just about anybody to get in and play. There's not a lot of blood or gore. It's just sword fighting, so, you know, to let your kids play it, if you're worried about that sort of thing, it's really not that big a deal. Um, it's sword play, but it's it's really not that violent. It's just swinging a sword, and they kind of fall over. That's about it. Uh, I give this game a 6 out of a 10. Uh, it's not one that I would run out and purchase right away, but if you're a fan of Dynasty Warriors, it's definitely worth your time. Uh, and if you can get a friend to buy it and borrow it that would be a great idea too but uh, it's only 30 bucks or 35 bucks so it's not like it's that big of an investment to waste on and uh, it is rather fun it's kind of addicting um, that's what I found so 6 out of 10 once again this is Stereotype with VitaNation.us if you like our videos make sure that you subscribe and comment below and uh, we'll see you next time thanks a lot